So the question says which of the following rational numbers have terminating terminating decimal representation right so terminating decimal representation that means the decimal representation has to end right it cannot be recurring or even non repeating okay so what type of rational numbers have terminal decimal representation so you know that a rational number is of the form of p by q correct and now we also know that if if q is equal to 2 to the power m and 5 to the power n if any denominator is of this form then we know that the decimal representation is going to be terminating okay so any denominator is of this form powers of 2 and powers of 5 only right what do you what does it mean let's say for example 56 by 80 this is a number okay now 56 by 80 is 56 divided by don't touch the numerator only denominator prime factorize it so you'll see this is nothing but 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 1 the only prime factors which are appearing in the denominator are either 2 or 5 nothing else so it can't have 3 it can't have 7 or 11 13 nothing they are not allowed if only 2 and 5 are there in the denominator then that p by q will be having a terminating decimal representation it doesn't matter what is there in the numerator right only you need to check is denominator so check the denominator check the denominator denominator okay check the denominator okay and then prime this is first one second prime factorize prime factorize the denominator okay prime factorize it right if only 2 and 5 are the factors or rather are the prime factors guys it should be prime so prime factors then then p by q has a terminating terminating decimal decimal representation okay otherwise not otherwise otherwise it will have it will have repeating repeating right non terminating repeating and non terminating non terminating decimal representation clear decimal representation this is the idea behind how to find out without actually dividing it so let's check the options guys so what all the options are so here is 5 clearly only 5 is meant right meant, uh, is there so either 2 5 or both of them should be there so either of them is also okay so this clearly will give you the terminating decimal representation here 13 is a prime number so 2 and 5 are not only there so not not allowed 27 is 3 to the power 3 so this is also not going to give you terminating decimal this is also 7 apart from 2 and 5 so these all are ruled out only first one is there and you already know this is 0 0.8 you could have just done the you know division process and figure out the option but this is how it works so for example tomorrow if there is a bigger number given let's say 57 572 divided by 800 um let's say 50 no 850 will not give you so 800 okay 800 only so then this will give you terminating decimal representation isn't it or for that matter 2796 into 4096 okay or uh two four yeah four zero nine six if this is there because this is just a power of two right it is i believe two to the power twelve so hence this will also be having terminating decimal representation huh? both of them understood but the moment there is something like seven fifty six and eighty one 
clearly without even division you can say that it will have recurring decimal representation because there is a factor 3 here it's not 81 is 3 to the power 4 there is no 2 5 and it should be only 2 and 5 even if there is a 2 into 5 and some other number then also it will not work only 2 and 5 should be there in denominator or some powers of 2 or some powers of 5 only okay i hope you understood this let's go to the next one so here is the next question guys it says uh, how many rational numbers can be found between two distinct rational numbers and all of you know the answer there are infinitely many right infinitely many right between two distinct distinct meaning unique different so let's say this is one uh, a and this is another one b let's say a and b are rational numbers so you know that there are infinitely many rational numbers between a and b on the real line right so there is no brainer in it there are infinitely many so what is the option option is clearly four right so how many rational numbers can be found between two distinct rational numbers infinitely many so answer is four okay let me use yeah so answer is four okay infinite infinite clear let's go to the next question then then so here is our next question guys it says uh, the value of 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 it's nothing but you have to simply multiply it it is a compound third 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 you can just open the brackets and solve it so 2 plus root 3 use the distributive property and you will be able to do this this is nothing but if i write the steps write proper steps and in clear handwriting you will never get errors so root 3 2 minus root 3 simply yep 2 plus 2 times 2 minus root 3 and root 3 times 2 minus root 3 so now again use the distributive property so this will be 2 into 2 this is not decimal guys 2 into 2 minus 2 times root 3 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3 square this is one way of doing it right if you don't know the identities there is another way i'll tell you that also so if you see this is getting cancelled out these are same 2 root 3 and 3 root 3 times 2 is same so cancelled out so what is left 4 minus root 3 square is 3 so hence 1 right alternatively you could have directly used the identity a square minus b square so if you see a minus b and a plus b results into a square minus b square so clearly you can see here 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 so a plus b a minus b so it is nothing but 2 square minus root 3 square which is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so both ways it is coming out to be 1 so answer is again a okay Clear. So let's go to the next question, guys. Next question. What is there in the next question? Now, the question here is uh, 27 to the power minus 2 by root 3 is equal to what? Very easy question again. So, how to solve this one? So, 27 to the power minus 2 by root 2 by 3 can be written as 27 to the power 1 by 3 and this is minus 2 i can write this why write the reason also in the bracket so a to the power m to the power n is equal to a m n correct so hence i can write this this expression like this right so then this is equal to so you can clearly see 27 cube root of 27 is 3 and now minus 2 3 to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 upon 3 square hence it is 1 upon 9 right how do i know that this is 1 upon 3 square write the rule because a to the power minus n is equal to simply 1 upon a to the power n correct so using this 1 upon 9 so hence my answer is 2 1 upon 1 upon 9 this is the right answer correct it's always good to check you know if others are you know any possibility of others to be the right answer but clearly you could do the calculations you figured out that 1 by 9 is the answer let's go to the next question so here is the next question it says simplify this simplify 
third root of 2 and then fourth root of 3 right so what is this this question is nothing but making the thirds of the same order okay so this will be written as like that okay so third root of 2 is 2 to the power 1 by 3 fourth root of 3 is 3 to the power 1 by 4 now how do I multiply so we will not be able to multiply until unless we have similar similar thirds or not similar thirds we must have same order thirds same order thirds so now here order is 3 here is order 4 I can't multiply different order thirds so let's try to make the same order thirds so what should I do I should take the LCM of 3 and 4 so I'm also writing the steps LCM of 3 and 4 which happens to be 12 okay now let's do something so that 3 becomes 12 how do I do that so I can write this as multiply the numerator so 1 by 3 I have to make this numerator 12 so I'll multiply by 4 at this denominator 12 so multiply by 4 so similarly you have to multiply by 4 on the numerator also to compensate it and then here next is 3 again I have to make this denominator of this power as 12 so I have to multiply by 3 similarly you have to multiply by 3 okay so this operation can be done now this is nothing but 2 to the power 4 upon 12 and this one is 3 to the power 3 upon 12 okay now 2 to the power 4 by 12 and 3 to the power 3 by 12 now the order looks same why because you can write this as 2 to the power 4 1 upon 12 and this one 3 to the power 3 and 1 upon 12 am I right perfect now what is 2 to the power 4 you all know this is 16 do not yeah, make any mistakes in calculation so 2 to the power 4 is 16 16 to the power 1 by 12 and this is 27 to the power 1 by 12 isn't it 3 to the power 3 is 27 so this will be nothing but 16 into 27 to the power 1 by 12 okay so if you now multiply this 16 into 27 uh, is uh, 112 isn't it so 112 11 is the carry so 16 times 2 is 32 plus 11 4 32 so 4 32 to the power 1 by 12 is the answer or 12th root 4 32 this is the answer right so what, what do we learn in this question so whenever there are different order order means what is the nth root you are trying to find out so in this case order was 3 in this case order is 4 so take the LCM make the same order and then do some compensation to so that the orders are same so that's what I did and then take the common powers and do the apply the exponential rules what exponential rules we applied a b to the power n is a to the power n b to the power n correct and the second one which we used is a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m n these are the two rules which we applied okay so let's let's go to the next question so here is another question uh, which says find two rational numbers between half and 1 by 3 so if you notice 1 by 3 is less than half okay so for a rough idea if you see this is my 1 upon 3 and this is 1 upon 2 so there are two methods to do actually you know 1 by 3 is somewhere 0 0.33 bar so this is 1 by 3 and half is 0 0.5 so any number between these will work so for example even 0 0.4 will do 0 0.4 is here then 0. Uh, somewhere no 0 0.4 will be not there exactly in fact less than the midpoint so yep so somewhere here is 0 0.4 Okay, so 4 upon 10. These are, these are 1 numbers and then you can find infinite numbers between these decimal numbers. But the formal way of doing it is let, let A is equal to 1 by 3 and B is equal to 1 by 2. It's always advisable to take smaller number first. So one number, one number or one rational number basically between between a and b is equal to simply a plus b upon 2 okay so let's find out a is 1 by 3 b is half divided by 2 
So if you take the LCM in the numerator 6, so 2 plus 3 divided by 2, so hence it is 5 upon 12. This is one number between 1 by 3 and 1 by 2, but they are asking 2, isn't it? 2 rational numbers. So what you can do is now the moment you know what is 5 upon 12, so what you can do is find take this number as another one and another set is this and then try to find out a number here okay so how to do it so now another number another number between between 1 by 3 and 5 by 12 so whatever is the number between 1 by 3 and 5 by 12 will also be between 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 isn't it this number here is between 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 so let's find this out is nothing but 1 by 3 plus 5 upon 12 upon 2 so lcm of 3 and 12 clearly it is 12 so 3 times 4 so here it will be 4 plus simply 5 and divide by 2 correct so this is nothing but 9 upon 12 into 2 correct now 3 times 3 and 3 times 4 right 3 times 3 and 3 times 4 so this number is 3 upon 8 isn't it so this is also um between 1 by 3 and uh 1 by 2 you can also check this by long division method what is 3 upon 8 so it will be simply 3 and uh, uh, so 8 3 jar 24 so 60 so 8 7 5 0.375 right clearly 0.375 is between 0.33 and 0.5 right so this is to check right this is to check and 5 upon 12 if you ca calculate by long division method it will be 0 0.416 something something like that you can go like that right so this is also between 0.33 and 0.5 so that means our answers are correct okay let's go to the next one now here is another question which simply says multiply these two thirds right so multiplication you know you will apply distributive law not a big deal not a difficult problem at all only thing is be careful with signs and multiplications right so apply distributive law you'll get three times six plus root two and write as many steps as possible this will reduce your error percentage okay so three times six plus root two and minus root five times six plus root two let's open it now so 3 times 6 is 18 plus 3 times root 2 okay and this one is 6 times root 5 right and minus root 10 5 into 10 root is the order is same so you can simply multiply the numbers within the root 5 into 2 10 right so check the signs there will be two negative signs here clear there are two positive signs right so this is the final result you don't need to go further this is quite sufficient if you want wish you can order them put it in order but not required this is good enough so this is very very simple question and you can if there are like terms then do go for simplifying it but they're here everything is different root 2 is different from root 5 root 10 you cannot really simplify it further okay so this is the answer 18 plus 3 root 2 minus 6 root 5 minus root 10 okay let's go to the next one here is the typical question of number system express point eight 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 repeating in the form of p by q and you know the answer already how to approach such in shortcut i will tell you if a number is 0 0.8 bar okay there is one digit repeating after decimal and there is no non-repeating digits right so every number should be repeating so in, in this case after decimal 8 is repeating right so then clear this is directly written as 8 upon 9 right so what you need to do is remove all the decimals and divide it by simply 1 9 how many nines will be there in the denominator as many as the repeating digits are right so if it was 0 0.21 bar will be simply 21 upon 99 okay 0 0.3 1 bar is 31 upon 99 0 0.413 bar is 
413 by 999 right but if it is 0 0.012 bar then you have to be careful then you can't write 12 by 999 no. there is one fixed number and rest of them are repeating so hence the methodology will be a little different here but there is another elaborative way of doing it and what is that let x be so this is the common method let x equals to 0 0.8 bar right then we multiply this by 10 so 10x is equal to 8.8 .8 bar and why do we do this why because our next step is going to be a subtraction subtraction step there if the number after decimal is same then subtraction becomes very easy isn't it so if i subtract right so 1 and 2 you write subtracting subtracting 1 from 2 subtracting 1 from 2 what will i get 10x minus x is equal to 8.8 .8 bar minus 0 0.8 bar so hence 9x is equal to 8 so x is equal to 8 upon 9 right this is in the form of pyq always make sure so there is an error zone so make sure reduce the fraction or reduce the rational number rational number to most simplified form most simplified form right that means there should not be any common factor between numerator and denominator right you should cancel all the common terms right so if let's say your answer is coming out to be for example in this case 21 by 99 can be written as 7 upon 33 so this should be the final answer reduced form okay so this is how you have to find out 0.88 bar or any anything else in the form of p by q let's go to the next question now so in this question it is asking simply phi simplify it should be simplify simplify by rationalizing so sorry it should be simplify simplify by rationalizing denominator so let's rationalize the denominator so you know how to do it you have to multiply it by conjugate so this is my 7 plus 3 root 5 divided by 7 minus 3 root 5 here what you need to do is multiply and divide the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so it is asking denominator so i have to rationalize the denominator if it asks to rationalize the numerator then just do same thing with the numerator so but be careful usually it is given denominator so there is a general tendency of all the students to ignore this term but be careful right error zone in this case would be what is error zone in this case check what is to be rationalized what is being asked asked to rationalize right many people just blindly go and rationalize the denominator but many a times there could be a trap laid for you where they are asking to rationalize the numerator right right so be careful okay and how to rationalize first of all find the rationalizing factor so rationalizing factor in this case will be rationalizing factor is nothing but the conjugate of denominator what is conjugate you just change the sign of the irrational part conjugate of denominator correct so change the sign of the irrational part so 7 minus 3 root 5 will become 7 plus through plus 3 root 5 that will be the conjugate of it so let us write this was the original number given 7 minus 3 root 5 and then multiply and divide by the conjugate 7 plus 3 root 5 i'm sorry i have to write 3 root 5 like that and in the numerator also same thing 7 plus 3 root 5 okay so then what happens if you see this is nothing but 
सेवन प्लस थ्री रूट फाइव होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री रूट फाइव होल स्क्वायर हाउ हाउ सो ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव यूज्ड हियर नाउ क्लियरली टॉप वन इन यू नो यूजिंग द आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर ओपन इट so it will be 7 square plus 2 times 7 times 3 root 5 right plus 3 root 5 squared correct divided by what 7 square is 49 minus 3 square 9 times 45 9 times 5 is 45 okay I hope this is clear. Three root five whole square is forty five. So don't get confused. Now this is forty nine plus this will be forty five again. So I'm writing it here next to forty nine because I have to add them. And this is two times seven, fourteen times three, forty two. Correct. So forty two root five and divided by four. Okay, guys. So hence, what is it now? Let's add. So forty nine plus forty five is ninety four, right? Nine plus five fourteen one four five four nine yes, and forty two root five divided by four we can cancel one two from numerator and denominator to get um forty seven plus twenty one root five. By two, right? So forty-seven plus twenty-one root five by two is the answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. So here is the next question, guys. What is it? It says simplify this big expression. Okay, so don't get intimidated by such things. These are very very simple actually. So in such cases, there are two ways. Either you can do this first, then this, and then that, or Use the exponential law. So hence, can't I say this as six twenty five, right, to the power one minus minus one by two times minus one by four times two. All will be multiplied together. Why? Because a to the power m to the power n is simply a to the power m n. and then if you go for one more round round it will again get multiplied in the exponent okay so minus half minus 1 by 4 into 2 be careful with the signs so this is 625 and this 2 and this 2 will disappear and this is simply 1 upon 4 right negative negative will become positive and this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so fourth root of 62 625 which is simply 5 right it was simple another way of doing it is You first do six twenty five to the power minus half. Okay, so this will become one by six to to the power half. First step is this, then minus one by four, and then here there is a two. Okay, so now now let's evaluate this first. So square root of six twenty five is twenty five. So hence it is now one by twenty five to the power minus one by four. And then squared, so which is nothing but one by twenty-five. And again, using this particular law, I can write minus one by four into two, which is nothing but twenty-five to the power minus half one by twenty-five. Sorry, so it is nothing but one by twenty-five to the power minus one by two. So which is nothing but twenty-five to the power one by two. Which is nothing but five again. Very very simple. Square root of twenty five is five. So hence, this is how you should do it. So let's go to the next one. Now here is visualize three point seven six on the number line using successive magnification. Now in most most likelihood it is not there in your syllabus this year, but for you know let's say if I have to do it, what to do? Visualize three point seven six on the number line using successive magnification. So what you need to do is Three point seven six is between three and four, and it is somewhere 
on third quarter, right? So 3.76. Now what you need to do is go to 3.7. So this is 3.7 and this is 3.8, isn't it? So this has to be magnified and here it will come like that. Okay, so you magnify it and here it is 3.7. And at this point it is 3.8 so 3.76 is going to lie somewhere here okay so between 3 and 4 you magnified around 3.75 so this is 3.7 this is 3.75 in the middle of it right so where is 3.76 3.76 is here okay so you have to divide it into 10 parts let's say so 1 2 3 4 5 six seven eight nine ten like that okay so you have to use a ruler and scale so one two three four five six this is three point seven six okay so this is how you have to do it i have done very very crudely here so you have to take a ruler mark point like three and four and then here is something you draw a small circle and again draw like that and in this line you demarcate 10 equal points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 let's say so let me again you have to do very very so 10 this thing you draw and this 3 you connect this 3 to the first one and 4 to the last one okay so this is 3 uh, yep 3 and uh, yeah sorry so this one is 3.7 sorry my bad I have to draw these not these from here because this is being magnified so this is 3.7 and this one is 3.8 like that so I am now magnifying between 3.7 and 3.8 so this is 3.7172 this is 3.73 this is 3.74 3.75 3.76 3 3.77 like that so this number is what you are asking for okay so it's always advisable to label it a b c d right so this is 3.76 by successive magnification okay let's go to the next problem so here is another very interesting problem we have to prove that this expression is equal to 1 okay so let's try proving it so what is 1 upon let's start from LHS so you write LHS is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x to the power b minus a can be written as this and this one will be x to the power c upon a right plus next one is 1 plus x to the power a divided by x to the power b sorry this is x to the power a guys yes okay then this one is x to the power c divided by x to the power b and plus 1 upon 1 plus x to the power a by x to the power c plus x to the power b divided by x to the power c and why am i writing this because a to the power m by a to the power n is simply a to the power m minus n this is the reason exponential law now what i can take lcm or common denominator so this x multiply and divide the numerator and denominator by x to the power a right so if you see this is going to become x to the power a into 1 divided by x to the power a 1 plus x to the power b by x to the power a plus x to the power c by x raised to a why am i doing this why because you will see the this denominator x to the power a will just get eliminate it now huh? so hence in this case you multiply by whatever is the denominator here so x to the power b multiplied by 1 and this one will be x to the power b 
वन प्लस एक्स टू दावर ए एक्स टू दावर बी एक्स टू दावर सी एक्स टू दावर बी लगा देन अगेन द थर्ड टर्म मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई एक्स टू दावर सी एंड डिवाइड ऑल्सो बाई एक्स टू दावर सी सो दैट इट इज हैविंग नो इम्पैक्ट वॉट सो एवर इन द रिजल्ट और इन द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्सप्रेशन करेक्ट बट इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अस अ वेरी ऑर्डर्ड एक्सप्रेशन ओके सो नाउ लेट्स डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो न्यूमिनेटर बिकम सिंपली एक्स टू दावर ए एंड डिनोमिनेटर विल बिकम x to the power a plus when this x a to the power a oh sorry sorry guys this is x to the power a so when this is also x to the power b here sorry my bad so when this x to the power a and x to the power a gets multiplied you will simply get x to the power b here and similarly you will get x to the power c what about this one x to the power b divided by x to the power b plus x to the power a plus x to the power c and the final one is x to the power c divided by x to the power c plus x to the power a plus x to the power b now if you look carefully all the denominators are same their order is different but they are same so hence i can take common denominator as x to the power a plus x to the power b plus x to the power c and in the numerator what will you get x to the power a plus x to the power b plus x to the power c is it So hence, if you see numerator and denominator is same, so this is simply one, and which is what you needed to prove RHS. Okay, so proving problems in a way are easy. Why? Because you know the end result. Now the catch was since it is an exponent form, you have to express this in this form, b minus a, and that was the catch. And then make the denominator common in all of them by simply multiplying by requisite factors or expressions here. So x to the power a, x to the power a, I multiplied. Okay, I multiplied purposefully with x to the power a. Why? Because the denominator will is going to be cancelled. This x to the power a in the denominator's uh, place, this will be cancelled, right? So hence, and then it was also giving me a common denominator across the three terms, and hence I could prove this properly. Okay, so this is how you should be. writing so what are the take uh, takeaways takeaways are write as many steps as possible write as neatly as possible wherever required write the reasons why it is happening okay so i keep saying that the more you make the life of an examiner easier she will make your life easier okay so hence try and explain every bit of it try and put show them show the examiner your sincerity your effort through your presentation so presentation also matters a lot okay guys so see you in the next worksheet till then bye bye take care and all the best